Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So believe it or not, 23 years ago, Microsoft officially announced Windows XP. And that all took place on the 5th of February 2001. And Windows XP to date is uh, personally my favorite OS. And back in the day, it just got things done. It was simple, basic, and just needed what it needed to do. And after the official announcement, Microsoft launched Windows XP in the second half of the same year. 2001 and in case you are unaware the code name for xp was whistler and as many of you may know microsoft always rolls out a code name for its different versions of windows when they are released and in case you're wondering where the name windows xp came from um it's from the word experience and obviously it's the xp in experience because microsoft made xp short for experience so they wanted it to be a new experience because before that as many of you may know there was a date-based naming system that obviously started with windows 95 and um then with windows 98 obviously windows 95 came out in 1995 windows 98 was the same principle 1998 it was released uh windows 2000 was the name for the corporate business version of the os and then after that we got windows millennium and then we got, um, after that, Windows XP, which was a much better success than I think than all those previous versions of Windows. And as mentioned to date, is my favorite Windows operating system. Now, XP was released with a number of different versions, like most um, OSs from Windows are released with. They do come out in a couple of different versions. And as mentioned, Windows XP was released on the 5th of February 2001, 23 years ago. And I think that was a big turning point uh, for Microsoft with uh, Windows XP. Um, I think it really launched them with the release of Windows XP. Obviously, it's debated now if Microsoft is keeping up the same standard with the the kind of um, newer versions of Windows we are getting these days. And um, after Windows XP was released, there was basically a five-year gap uh, before we started seeing windows vista which was the next um, major os which was a complete disaster as far as i'm concerned and um, i think vista was just um, resource hungry uh, it um, wasn't as quick and snappy as windows xp and what i liked about windows xp it was highly configurable so you could really tweak it out if you were running it on older hardware and um, that was back in the day and as you may well know, Microsoft finally ended its official support for Windows XP in April of 2014. So that was um, basically after, over 12 years after it launched uh, in 2001. So although um, Windows XP has been out of circulation and out of support for quite some time, it still holds a little bit of the market share. According to Stat Counter, that's 0.57%. Um, percent of the total market share when it comes to desktop versions of the windows os and um, as i've mentioned before in my region in my part of the world and i also know in some other regions of the world windows xp is still used uh, by some individuals and also some um, enterprises and corporations and just wanted to let you know that um, 23 years ago obviously windows xp rolled out to the general public and to date is still my favorite version of the os and this this wallpaper, um, which is one of the most um, viewed and identified um, images in the world, by the way, um, just on a side note, and was also a huge success. And I still like the Bliss wallpaper. I still think even in um, this modern era, uh, the Bliss wallpaper still stands and holds its own when it comes to desktop backgrounds. So I think the whole package with uh, Windows XP, I think... Um, it um, was a huge success from Microsoft. And although obviously um, back in the day we got a lot of blue screens of death and it was quite unstable in certain aspects, especially when um, the demand exceeded what the, the OS could actually um, perform when it came to the actual performance of the OS. Although we had our glitches, I still think that XP um, still holds its own, even in today's um, modern OSs and so on. But uh, um, 23 years ago, um, XP rolled out to the general public and it's hard to believe that obviously that was back then all the way back in 2001. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.